started. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Ahuhu marker to the Copic markers. And we're going to see which one is the best marker to purchase, depending on you and what you think. The Ahuhu marker comes with two tips. It comes with a chivel tip and a fine tip. For just $50, you get 100 markers. For just $50, you're going to get 100 alcohol based markers that is amazing so one of these markers will only cost you 50 cents now for the ahu marker it comes with two tips there is the chisel tip and the very loved brush tip so this set comes with 72 markers for about 190 dollars so that's about two dollars and 63 cents per marker this is what the two markers look like side by side and the Ahu marker is a lot thicker, a lot taller. I really like how the Ahu marker looks, like their new design looks so cool, even more than the Copic marker. So the good thing about the Copic markers are that their numbering system, their numbering system is gold, it is amazing, like that is so helpful. The Ahuhu marker, the numbering system is honestly not that great. So it comes with the color names. This one is Lipstick Natural and Cadmium, Cadmium Orange. While these don't have a color name, the old markers did. Let me just bring one out. So this one says bronze green on here and the color is 42. A little bit of a change. Oh, I really, I, I honestly did not notice that the uh, the fine tip is kind of marked on here and then the broad tip isn't marked so you'll know You'll know which is which And they did that with the original markers all the newer markers too so that you can tell which one is the fine tip and then the broad tip uh, Copic it has the brush symbol right there and then it has the chisel symbol over there so you know so we're gonna see the color nibs. Picking up a random color, so this is three. One swatch. And you're gonna do multiple swatches on here. Alright, so we're gonna see if it does match. So this one looks a little more red, while this one is on a pinkish purple side. Now let's give the Copic marker a try. One swipe. Okay, that was not one swipe. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, let's do this in multiple swipes. And let's do one swipe over here. So there you go. It does match the lighter one, not so much on the darker one. There's that. Now let's try and blend some of these and see just how well they blend. So I'm gonna try and blend color three and color seven. All right, so color three. Oh, this is color seven and color three. Let's see how well it blends. Okay. I'm blending with the lighter marker. <gasps> it bled through. Okay, so that is some pretty good blending, as you can see. All right, so we have RV29 and RV02. Let's see how well these blend. Oh, this is really light. Sure you can do it, I know it's really light. These are very different, at least these two are like pretty similar, but these are a bit far apart. But I believe it can do it. There's a lot of bleed through, but don't worry guys, this is just, um, plastic covering because my desk was like getting all messed up and I was like uh no. all right so there's the blend it's honestly not that great because these markers are super far apart that's actually pretty good blending compared to like how far apart these markers are so let me find a closer marker Let's see maybe this one R23 so it's still the same color family Ooh, this is still so light Ooh. 
There we go. That's some pretty good blending. These two are the Copic markers and that over there is the Who marker. All right, so I decided to make a rainbow heart using one side with the Copic marker and then one side with the Who marker. And this is what the blend looks like. They look pretty similar. Except the these colors are a little hard to mix because I don't know, they're acting weird. Um, here the colors blended pretty nicely and it was much easier to blend and use. Well here you kind of have to like, this took me a while to do. This one was like easy, especially up here. Look pretty similar. The bottom part, not so much on the Ahuhu marker. Here it's not that bad. So I really prefer the Copic markers packaging a lot more than the Ahuhu marker. Just because the packaging is really sturdy, you can just sit on your desk and when you pull one marker out, the rest don't fall down on it. And it just looks really good so I do prefer the Copic markers um, packaging compared to this one it's very I don't know it's really hard to see on here but if you pull a few markers out it's gonna keep like slanting the more you take out and it's a lot harder so some of your markers will like fall in here I guess it's, it's just a lot harder to use but for the price I think it's pretty good I think all they need to do is like have something that's going to like Keep this thing standing up straight just like that and that would be pretty good I don't know just just holds it like that and squeezes it when you take it out I don't know what they're gonna do like the packaging it's cute when it's all covered up like it sits pretty well but once you start like taking markers out the bag starts to like slouch <laughs> and some of the markers will fall down and like hide from you and then at the bottom of the Ahuhu marker set there's these little things where the markers would sit and they won't like fall down once it's like taken out so the Copic markers you can change the nibs um I really wouldn't recommend you change the nibs for the chow markers because they're only like two dollars and sixty cents so I think it'll be better you just buy a new one because the nibs are actually really expensive. The refills are pretty good. I would definitely recommend that you buy the refills. And, but for these, you can't really, there's no option. Like once this marker is like out or the nib is like ruined, you're pretty much not gonna use that marker because there's no replacement nibs and there's no refills for these. The Copic markers are a lot easier to use since they have the brush tip. The who markers are a little harder to use but they get the job done so and they get it done cheaper so it's really good markers like I definitely recommend these for beginners and even professional artists I'm not sure how long the colors are gonna last on paper but I know for sure that the Copic markers are light fast light fast just means that they're gonna they're going to preserve their color longer I'm not sure like these who markers are pretty new so we don't know much about their light fastness so yeah all right so to just go over everything and then we're gonna do a quick little illustration as well I've drawn something out that we're gonna color half and half with so the Ahuhu marker, there is 100 markers in here for only $50, that's 50 cents per marker. They're alcohol based, their packaging is not that great, they're double ended, they have the fine tip and the bra tip. The nibs are not replaceable and they're not refillable and you can't buy these separately. So that's everything for the Ahuhu markers. Alright, so for the Copic markers, there is about 72 markers here for $190. So that's two dollars and sixty-three cents per marker. They're refillable. They are the nibs are replaceable. For the Copic Chows, there's about 180 colors for the sketch markers. So this is what the Copic sketch looks like. And this is this one is the one that comes with the 214 colors. We don't really know how many colors are in the oh markers. Like you really don't know which colors you get, so when you order yours, they literally just they literally just pick your colors and put, put it in here. So it's pretty random. 
The numbering system is pretty good. It's super helpful if you're collecting and just want to know how to use these colors. Um, the cap does match the colors. Some of these for the hula markers kind of match the colors, um, but not all of them. So you're going to need a color sheet for these. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about these markers. So what I'm going to do is I am going to color this over here. I'm going to do what I did with the heart drawing. I'm gonna color one side with the hoop marker and the other side with the Copic markers. So let's just jump into this video. Here is the Copic marker side and here is the Ahu marker side. Let me show you guys a closer look. So let me know in the comment section which one you prefer and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.